Today, former President Donald Trump will appear before a federal judge in Miami, the first former president ever to face federal prosecution. He's being charged with mishandling classified documents and obstructing the federal investigation that followed. CBS News' John Diaz, live in the newsroom with more. John? Yeah, Chris and Mary, good morning to both of you. Well, according to our sister station in Miami, Trump supporters have already begun lining up at the courthouse. Police there are preparing for tens of thousands to show and are encouraging any demonstrations to be peaceful. Now, later today, it is expected that Trump will surrender to authorities, and if a normal federal procedure occurs, he will be fingerprinted, then his mugshot will be taken, and he would then have to give DNA swab with a Q-tip in his throat. Then it's on to the court for arraignment, where Trump is expected to plead not guilty. Yesterday, he spent much of the day huddled with advisors and attorneys at his resort in Miami, planning out how they will handle charges that he allegedly mishandled classified documents. The Republican faces 37 federal criminal charges that could land him in prison for decades. Law enforcement sources, well, they say that they're monitoring pl uh, plans for pro-Trump rallies, including one that may be organized by the Proud Boys. And violent online rhetoric has surged since the indictment, but there are no specific credible threats. Even though we're preparing, we're bringing enough resources to handle crowd anywhere from 5,000 to 50,000, we don't expect any issues. We obviously believe in the Constitution and believe that people should have the right to express themselves, um, but we also believe in law and order. The unsealed federal indictment provides key details about the types of documents found at Trump's Florida resort. According to investigators, they included some of the highest levels of classification that protect our nation's secrets. Now, after Donald Trump leaves the courtroom in Florida, he will head back to his golf course in Bedminster, New Jersey, where he's set to address supporters later tonight. Chris and Mary. John, thank you. And we'll have extended coverage of the Trump indictment on the air and streaming on CBS News New York, including a CBS News special report at 2 this afternoon. You can stay up to date with all the details at CBSNewYork.com.